Blue Wahoos hosting the Jackson Generals, second game of a five-game series. Tony Singrani on the mound for Pensacola in the top of the first inning. Wastes no time. He gets Chris Pettit watching. That's out number one. Next batter, Larry Bonilla. Strike two, swinging. Third bat of the inning, Stefan Romero. Thanks for playing. Strike three. He's down on strikes. Three straight strikeouts for Tony Singrani to start the game. We move to the bottom of the first. Josh Fellhauer doubles and a line drive to right field. Ryan Lamar comes around. He scores. Later in the inning, Josh Fellhauer over at third base. Jordanis Perez drives this one to the alley in right center field. Denny Almonte makes the catch. Fellhauer will score from third, and the Blue Wahoos are up 2 to nothing. Back to Singrani in the top of the second. Here's Callie and Sams. He's caught watching strike three. Denny Almonte goes down. Hacking. Singrani appears to have it working. He's K-5 now through the first two. Let's jump ahead to the third. Back to the Singrani show. Joseph Dunnigan. He can't do it. Foul tip into the mid of flurry. That's strikeout number six. After Jarmody De Jesus was caught watching, Gabriel Noriega gave it his best shot. Swinging. Tony Singrani, eight strikeouts through the first three innings. Fourth inning now. Chris Pettit, another try. Whiffing. Larry Bonilla again, another foul tip. Ten strikeouts through four. We move to the fifth. Can he make it 11 to tie the Blue Wahoos single game strikeout record? I think so. Sam's down swinging. Second time tonight. Sam's is a strikeout victim. No hitter, though, still intact as we go to the top of the sixth. The strikeout parade continues. Gabrielle Noriega later in the inning. Strike three, whiffing, final out of the inning. That's 13 strikeouts. Singrani just rewriting record books at this point. To the top of the seventh inning, he's k 13 through six. Make it 14 now as Chris Pettit strikes out for the third time. That was the first out of the seventh inning with a no-hitter still intact. Oh, by the way, he's also faced the minimum through the first six and a third innings of this game. Larry Bonilla trying to change things. He does so as he ropes a single into left center field. That's the first hit of the game. For the Jackson Generals, it ends the no-no, but a great performance still intact. We move on now to the bottom of the seventh inning. The Wahoos trying to add some insurance for Singrani. They give it to him. Miguel Rojas singles on a ground ball to the second baseman, Stefan Romero. The Wahoos have a two-out base runner. Next batter, Ryan Lamar. He's going to triple one to the alley. Rojas can walk home from first base. Lamar into third base with the RBI three-bagger. After a walk to D.D. Gregorius, Josh Fellhauer brings home Ryan Lamar on his base hit. The Wahoos have a 4-0 lead. That would be more than enough in this one. We pick up the action again in the top of the eighth inning. Back to work for Singrani. Can he make it 15 strikeouts to end his night? I think so. Dunnigan down whiffing. That was number 15 on pitch number 100 for Tony Singrani. What an effort for Singrani. Singrani now 2-1 on the season. Final line on him, eight innings, no runs, three hits, one walk, 15 strikeouts. He faced just one over the minimum over his eight innings. Wahoos, 5-0 winners over the Jackson Generals to even the series at a game apiece.